Look at your hand, right now. Flip it over. Study the lines on your palm. You see skin, bone, biology. But physics? Physics is starting to see something else. Code, data, pixelation. For decades, we asked if this is real. Now, we are asking a more terrifying question. If this is a simulation, can we break it? We aren't just talking about the matrix anymore. We are talking about the second law of infodynamics. We are talking about jailbreaking reality itself. The controller isn't in your hand, it's inside your mind. Let's press start. Consider a video game. To run smoothly, it cheats. It only renders what you are looking at. It compresses data to save memory. Reality does the exact same thing. Melvin Vopsen, a physicist at the University of Portsmouth, discovered something chilling. He calls it the second law of infodynamics. It suggests that information systems, like our universe, don't grow more chaotic over time. They actually minimize information content. They optimize, they compress, just like a JPEG file losing quality to save space. Think about that. Why would the laws of nature care about efficiency? unless there is a limit on processing power, unless the computer running us is trying to save RAM. We are seeing the pixels. We are seeing the compression artifacts of a digital cosmos. But pause, breathe. Before you unplug, there is a wall, a mathematical wall. It comes from the University of British Columbia, and it uses a logic weapon called Gödel's incompleteness theorem. Here is the crux. A simulation is an algorithm, a set of steps. But our reality? It contains truths that cannot be proven by the system's own rules. It contains non-algorithmic understanding. If consciousness isn't just math, if your feeling of being is irreducible, then it cannot be coded. We aren't just software. We are the ghost in the machine that no code can capture. The math suggests we are too complex to be fake. We are the anomaly that crashes the system. So we have a paradox. The physics looks like code. The math says it's impossible. But what if we stop asking if and start asking how do we get out? Dr. Roman Yampolsky proposes a radical idea, jailbreaking. Just like hackers exploit a flaw in software to gain admin access, could we exploit physics? Could we use advanced AI to overload the simulation's resources? Create a buffer overflow in the fabric of space-time? If we are in a cage, AI might be the lockpick. Or it might be the warden. If we try to break the glass, do the creators pull the plug? Maybe the game isn't meant to be won. It's meant to be played. The screen is fading. The level is ending. But the conversation is just beginning. If you want to peel back the next layer of the onion with me, click that subscribe button. Let's find the source code together.